So, something pretty cool just happened, and it involves a chance to win one of my custom-built props and a huge cash prize. Frank, did you just say there's a chance to win one of your custom-built props and a huge cash prize? Yes, other me. Yes, I did. What's up guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Frank. So recently, Esports Games reached out to me and asked me to build a prop for an upcoming tournament. Now the tournament focuses around Dota 2 and I decided that the Aegis of Champions would be the perfect fit. It's a pretty great looking shield and I'm sure it's gonna look fantastic on any fan's mantle or wall. During this tournament, Esports Games will be giving away two of my custom made shields and $10,000 worth of cash prizes. Now this entire contest is gonna take place exclusively on the Esports Game app. This mobile app tests your knowledge on esports. You can predict outcomes of all types of esports tournaments and take part in fun trivia games with esports games. You get exclusive prizes for correctly guessing the right answers and you can track your friends on leaderboards. Make sure you go download that esports game app. There's a link for it down below, so don't miss out. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through the process of how I made the shield. So first, we need to take a look at the 3D files. Huge shout out to RD over at Promethean Props. He worked on these files and they came out great and I would not have been able to do this without him. So thank you, RD. Obviously, this shield is a little too big to fit in my printer in one go. So the first thing to do is slice up the shield in the smaller parts. Once that's done, all I have to do is arrange them across my multiple printers, slice, get the G code onto the SD cards, and get to printing. Here we are at the start of this project. We're getting some prints done and they're taking a little bit longer than I would have liked. I did have some failures and setbacks. I had a pretty gnarly clog and you can see that I had some stringing, but this stuff is gonna sand and come right off. Super easy, not really worried about it. I was able to print three whole sides of the shield. This is the right side first. So it's gonna look something like that when it's done because I, since I need to build three shields, I need to print three of everything. So I'm printing the left side currently on the other printers and they're coming out just as nice. I also resin printed and I'm really proud of these, um, the little details that are gonna sit here in the shield. Now each set of this yin yang feature takes about 24 hours. So I have this first set done, but this one did get a little warped. So I am kind of trying to bend it down right now. This should work just fine but it locks in here really, really great. And the detail on this just came out beautiful. I'm so glad I was able to resin print this in one shot. I was able to use my Epax X156 to print both pieces at the same time. And we have one printing right now. It's nothing really special to look at, just a pool of resin, but later, hopefully it'll look much better. This is literally the icing on the cake. Once the shield's done, this is just gonna sand and paint and weather. I cannot wait to actually make this look like metal. I need to wait for the other shield parts to get done. Then I'm gonna PLA weld it. A lot of the weld lines are gonna get hidden behind other detail parts. The details were separated so I can kind of drop these little detail pucks into place as well as this little guy right there he'll sit there now I could have resin printed these but my FDM printer did great so this can all be welded this will all be welded and then I just have to do some minuscule filling up in here and then we have the inner detail part of the back of the shield now this is gonna sit right in here I just got to get these supports off and then this is gonna get PLA welded as well and it'll look something like that. What I'll probably do is offset it. So one weld's going this way, one's going that way. It might not look as weird. I don't know, we'll see once I get the other sides. Unfortunately, only one of these back parts printed. The other ones did fail. Um, I didn't up the retraction on my SV03. No big deal, they're printing right now. So by the time I get home from work tonight, all three left sides of the shield will be done. And then the opposite side of the backing plate will be done as well. And we can move right along.
that I've finished PLA welding all the parts together and sanding them, I'm moving on to using a filler primer to get rid of some of the layer lines. Since the resin parts are printed in a much higher detail, I can skip the filler primer and go right to a nice smooth sandable primer. So after hitting it with a heavy coat of red filler primer, I sanded it down a little bit and then went over with a nice black sandable primer, sanded that down a little bit, and now it's ready for paint. So now we have some color on the main shield. Now this is going to be two parts. It's going to be the standard copper, and this is a Krylon dark metallic copper, and I love this color. And then all of these accents around the outside are going to be gold. So I did the copper first because I know this dries a lot quicker, and I can put masking tape over it, and it's going to be easier to tape off these recesses with some frog tape and just hit the whole thing with gold call it a day same for the underside but from the pictures it looks like the backside is a different color than the front so maybe I'll use the oil rub bronze on that now I didn't spend a lot of time I didn't have to worry about filling in these spots in here because they're gonna get covered up and most of in here is gonna get covered up too I only had to worry about right here and right here where that little gem crest thing is gonna sit so not a lot of filling I needed to do and then the back is gonna be covered by that chrome plate the little detail accent pieces are coming out nice I'm just hitting them with a uh, rust-oleum metallic gold it's not as bright of a gold as the other Rust-Oleum metallics that share a, a very similar can to that one. I, it's a lot flatter and that kind of lends more to the pictures I'm seeing of the shield and it can tarnish and take a little bit more wear and tear. Uh, these were printed separately, which is gonna make this a lot easier to just glue them on afterwards. Now they could have been printed with the shield, but again, it's gonna help hide that crease line. I will never get over how well this stuff covers. I can't talk about it enough. It is amazing. If you told me this was metal, I'd honestly believe you just by how nice it looks gives a nice reflective finish. I am gonna throw some dirt and kind of um, wear and tear into the recesses and then try to wipe it off and get a good amount of depth to it and really bring out those lines so it looks like it's a dirty, oily shield. But guys, I'm actually gonna stop here in showing you the build process. So, right about now, you guys would be expecting me to show you the finished prop. I showed you the printing process, I showed you the paint, and I kind of showed you all the things you need to put the shield together if you want to make your own. This is going to be a little bit of a different video. As this shield is for a giveaway and it's a prize, I'm not actually going to show you the finished item just yet. Now, I know, I know, I can already see the comments down below. Don't worry. If you want to see the grand reveal, make sure you're following my TikTok and Instagram. I'm so proud of how the shield came out and I can't wait to show you guys. And one last huge shout out to Esports Games for this awesome opportunity. Make sure you guys download the Esports Games app and enter the Dota 2 tournament for a chance to win one of these awesome prizes. And I did mention they're giving away 10K in cash prizes, right? Like, I talked about that? Yeah. And one last reminder to please subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. Please enable all because I have so many videos coming out and I don't want you to miss any. That does it for this video. Thank you again, Esports. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go download that app and I'll see you guys for the grand reel. She's gonna enter.